And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final battle? Question mark. It, well, you could probably guess what I think this is going to go down as, but uh, yes, it's Lord Eldeal himself. Oh my god, these patterns. Ciao. Oh boy, these moves. Kind of hard to avoid. So, as promised, I swapped in uh, Kalilika, since this is kind of her theme fight, I suppose, if you want to consider it that. I am getting themed. Whoa. Ooh, Ooh those tornadoes sure went for a while. There's Dragon Kick again. Wait, skill finish? Really? And he dropped a bunch of health, too. Oh, oh no. It's that ground smasher. Whoa, whoa, Oops. oopsie daisy. All right, I got creamed by him. I also have uh, Durin here because I'd like to get the dude some uh, levels here, so I brought him into the fight, but, you know, permit me, if you will, Sky Drive. That's kind of cool. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna eat the KO here, right? I would like to, like, try a couple of times, like, just beat, her, beat him with Kalilika. Permit me to have a little bit of, like, uh, you know... A few attempts at, like, doing this, like, do good, like, because, like, his patterns don't seem impossible. I'm getting blasted by them first round, but I, I was being a little... I was being a little impatient there. Oh, fascinating. The water balls drop uh, health, huh? Good to know. That's our KO. Um, yeah, give me give me one more attempt, or, or a couple at least, everybody. I think I can take this guy without uh, having to resort to using items. Look, uh, permit me to attempt this cool, cool like little uh, wheelie here. There's no escape. But yeah, let's go. This is the yeah we uh, last time we wrapped up our business in uh, the There's Colonia no ruins. We found the a muck running no Sol Galbaland. It turns out the ghost of King Lafonce had returned and was controlling him. And what happened was that he fixed the Mask of the Moon. So here we are now here to stop Lord Eldeal. He is going to use the Akashic Records to basically destroy the world with a bunch of like natural disasters because he's crazy. And we're going to stop that. Let's rock. Calling the Thunder Spheres to provide a little bit of backup. Oh, oh, I got... Wow, I got corner trapped real bad with that move. Man, it is hard to get an opening to, to hit him here, honestly. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I'm figuring Flash Card might work better with... Uh, that, 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 like, uh, lance move there. Oh, there's some fireballs. So let's just back off real quick. I'm not even going after Kalilika there. Oh. Ooh, okay, that almost got me. Okay, here comes the Tornadies. Keep my distance for just a second. Okay, so he's got like an elemental theme going. I get that. Oh. Now a little bit of lightning of my own, huh? So I guess this is... Yeah, I don't know if this really is uh, the Kalilika theme fight. It feels like Galbalan wasn't really it. So is this either? I really don't know. But, you know, let's let's have her here for like this fight one more. Oh, God, he shoots out projectiles with that too, huh? There's a dragon kick. Oh, there goes the water again. I don't like this camera angle. He's like in the bottom corner, so I can't like get a good fix on him. Oh. Oh boy. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that timing. I think I got clipped there though. Oh, well, I got a little flash card there. That's good. Oh, th this one was bad. This one I'm just going to play keep away until it's over, right? This 
Blood goes on forever. Oh no! Uh, can you survive this? These super moves suck from these bad guys. Oh! Unless we can manage to do that to him, huh? Sick. You love when that happens. So, guess we don't know what his super move is, but that's fine. Given some of the super moves we've had to deal with, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm playing a little, playing a little conservatively here, a little bit of keep away, but can you blame me? Uh, uh, uh. Call in the thunder spheres to provide. Oh no, I walked into. Or did I? Hey, you got a lucky flash card there. Oh, he's going for this one again, and this time we don't have uh, our, our ultra move to. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Wait, that's it? I'm not sure what happened there, but that wasn't so bad, dude. Oh, oh, was, oh, the Earth one! This one's bad. Let's just play keep away. Oh, yeah. That'll actually help quite a bit. You have to give a couple hits there. And you're done! Oh, I thought I'd die like a couple more times and I'd have to use items, so... I'm gonna count that as a feather in yours truly's cap. Taking him out with only minimal hits there. I kind of paced myself pretty good there, don't you think? I'm pretty happy with that, that hustle. In fact, um... For the final boss, that sure was um, a rather easy one. I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't get cocky, especially because it wasn't that easy, but it did take a bit of focus there towards the end to make sure that I didn't screw it up too bad. Huzzah! Did. Did we... win? Very... good. What? What? Oh no, there's a phase two. There's a phase two. That's why that fight was that easy. No, there's not a phase two. We beat the bad out of him. Fascinating. Lisa, look. I see it. His hair and his wings. It appears we have our chance to speak. With the true Eldeal. Adol, quickly, hand me the Mask of the Moon. Adol, that was not quickly, but whatever. <laughs> Adol gave the Mask of the Moon to Eldeal. Now, I should be able to remain in this persona for a while. When I created this mask, I had no idea it would be used quite like this. Maybe I should have designed it to look a little more appealing. My! <laughs> <laughs> well, the ending was a little anticlimactic, but I'm glad everything worked out. Yeah, and we got to beat the stuffing out of him with our club. I am overjoyed to see that you all made it here safely. And I'm sorry for worrying you, Lisa and Kalilika. As for you, Adol, I've no doubt caused no end of trouble. And... It has been quite a while, my dear friend. Eight hundred years, I believe. Thank you for sealing away the Black-Winged One all those centuries ago. Although, I could never have imagined that you'd continue to keep it sealed away for so long. That wasn't what we agreed on. But at this point, I'm just glad to see you safe. Everything is thanks to Adol and his friends. Still, it does not seem we have the luxury of time to be reminiscing about the past. You're correct, we don't. Um, King Lefance, 
Wouldn't it be possible for me to seal away the other Lord Eldeal the same way you did? If there's anything I can possibly do to help... Lisa. Lisa. Lisa, I appreciate the sentiment. But it is not my wish to seal him away at the expense of someone else's life. I never hope to see that happen again. Oh. Long ago, I believed that he was a completely separate being who had manifested within me. However, as time passed, I came to realize that he is as much a part of me as the one you see before you now. What do you mean? I've long believed that keeping harmony in the world by carefully meeting out knowledge was my duty, and I did so as such. But at some point, I began to doubt whether giving knowledge to people in this manner was the right thing to do. Those doubts constantly grew within me, eventually coming together and taking form. And that is the Black-Winged One who stood before you earlier. This is interesting, because I was mentioning the first time we got that flashback with uh, the introduction to Lord Eldeal, and he explained his role as the curator of knowledge being spread to the world. I was like, that's a little morally ambiguous, to be honest. So, kind of interesting that that turned out to be the crux of uh, Eldeal's kind of character arc here. Kind of fun how that came back. That can't be true. Also, I'm glad that there is an explanation for what evil El Deal is. Like, I don't know. I guess I was a little worried that they were just going to say, like, eh, it, you know, it happens to angels. Sometimes they get evil split personalities. Like, I don't know. Like an actual thematic explanation for his dark side is fun. Good stuff. On the surface, he may seem to be the embodiment of cruelty, simply existing to inflict destruction upon the world. But he believes that by overcoming the great ordeals placed before them, people can develop on their own. Fascinating! So you know what this really is? If anyone has played the Bioware RPG Jade Empire, that had a philosophy system of um, open palm and closed fist, which Bioware tried to, like, kind of replace the good and evil that they had often used previously, you know, most famously the light side, dark side, like, choices in, 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 um, you know, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Now, in practice, it really did feel like you were doing, like, good versus evil with the two philosophies of open palm and closed fist. But what they tried to sell you on it, it wasn't so much about, uh, good versus evil, it was more about charity versus self-reliance. But th there was kind of like an underlying theme of that charity could be twisted into like kind of um, neediness, like like dependence. And that self-reliance could be twisted into like kind of like selfishness and, you know, uh, c uh, you know toxic competitiveness and stuff like that. And I think that's what why like... My, 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 my uncertainty with El Deal's philosophy actually comes down to is like the kind of light, the, the kind of like the kind of um, uh, the, the critique of the open palm route, so to speak. So fascinating. It's interesting that they are, although again, evil El Deal, I would still count as goddamn evil. So although they're trying to make it more subtle and a more like a little bit more gray area here. I think in practice, <laughs> it still comes off rather good versus evil. But I appreciate, again, the like little effort to like add the nuance there with uh, these characters. Looking back upon history, it is true that people become stronger through overcoming adversity. And as a result, people learn to think and walk for themselves without the aid of gods. In a sense, the Black-Winged One was born just as much out of love for humanity as I. Again, it's, it's a very extreme tough love, though, that it's expressing, huh? <laughs> I had no idea. So it seems even God is imperfect. How disappointing. 
Let's go. I knew. That's one of those moments where, you know, it doesn't say who's talking and I still know immediately who it is. Hell yeah. I mean, very bad what's about to happen, but in terms of the story, hell yeah. You might recall this is exactly what I was asking for. Gruda! How is Lord Eldeal imperfect for showing concern? <laughs> you hadn't noticed. The Black-Winged One didn't use the power of the Mask of the Sun in your battle at all. Now that you mention it... Right, was he wearing the mask? I don't remember. <laughs> Actually, it went by so fast to fight. He... didn't? <laughs> Such a careless error. But now I have the chance to see my true desires realized. I wish to see how humanity reacts when faced with cruel, cold despair, greater even than the ordeals of a god. What? What are you saying? That's why I supported the Black-Winged One and devised this new generation of Darklings who mourn this world. And yet this god here has proven quite useless to that end. Gruda, you... A perfect ordeal can only be executed by one who bears perfect malice. In other words, humanity itself. If it is the duty of a god to challenge humanity, then truly, it is a duty most befitting a human. Okay, his weird philosophy is getting a little odd there, but, like, I get it. Also, goddammit, when did he yoink that? We... We did just kind of leave it lying on the ground, I admit, but... Oh, no! The Mask of the Sun? When did he acquire that? No! How? Oh? Uh? Well, he's gone, so... Yeah, he's like, okay... Maybe he got blown up by the power of the mask, you know? It was too much for a mortal to bear? Eh. Eh. Yeah, I don't think we should count on that. He's... gone? Where did he go? I dare not even say it, but... I fear that's exactly what he did. He has entered Iris. Iris? Iris! Iris? The place... Bleh. The place where the contents of the Akashic Records are stored. They take the form of spiritual light and occupy another world where they can typically be neither seen nor touched. And that world of records is known by the name Iris. And that's where you suspect Gruda has gone? It's the only logical conclusion. The Mask of the Sun was originally made to allow its wearer to enter Iris and change the records stored within. I fear that Gruda is going to bring about disaster in the real world by manipulating the records directly. Ugh, he just keeps sinking lower and lower. He's even more brazen than the other Lord Eldiel. We cannot allow him to have his way. But what are we supposed to do? Eight hundred years ago, the Black-Winged One entered Iris much like Gruda has now. I followed him and sealed him away. With time, however, the seal weakened, and he managed to break free. I see. So that means we can follow him inside, then. Indeed. I will secure a route using the Mask of the Moon. That should grant you access. Thanks. Glad to have someone like you on our side. I will join Adel and the others within the world of records. I should be able to guide you through its deaths at the very least. Thank you, King Lafonce. Lord Eldil, I... I'm afraid Sol Galba's mass may be too much for me to transfer inside. Could I ask you to remain here and support me? Y yes, of course. 
We have to hurry, Adol. The Black-Winged One is not sealed away forever. If sufficient time passes, he will begin to re-emerge. I don't know if Adol would get this cocky at this moment. Let's just be... Let's just get to the point. Okay. Let's get going, then. <laughs> Remarkable. There's not an ounce of hesitation on your face. You almost make me understand the Black-Winged One's perspective. You represent the capability and ingenuity of humanity. I will open the gate to Iris. Thank you, my friend. Okie dokie. I didn't expect... Hmm. I, I, I thought that this place would be a level, honestly. So good subversion on, like... You know, the boss fight straight away. Um... This extra, extra thing of the world of records now, uh, that's kind of interesting, but, you know, good stuff. Is that it? This is the gate, yes. Adol, best of luck to you in there. Be very careful, and Godspeed. Oh boy. Adol, everyone, please take care. I will maintain the gate to Iris here, so that you may enter and leave as you wish. Please, take care, Adol. Okay, sounds like this is not gonna be a moment of no return, I guess. Well, now, though... That's still, like I said, that still didn't really feel like Kalilika's story arc. It's a bit of a shame, like, Karna and Ozma had, like, really good story arcs, and they had really good, like, you know, finales. Well, no. Nothing incredible, but like you know, I enjoyed the conclusion of their personal character arcs with the uh, levels of Mount Vesuvio and Lake Tolmes. So I kind of feel like Kalilika has gotten shortchanged here. I, I don't really feel like the place we're about to walk into is going to have, uh, you know, Kalilika level anymore. I, I feel like we're past that because now it's just Gruda, you know? So yeah. Um, we got a couple new abilities, right? We got. Got Deadly Counter. Predict enemy attack using chance to deal great damage. I'm not sure I can pull off that action in this game. So I might not do that. But uh, what was the other thing we got? Dragon Kick. Uh, let's put that instead of Wild Assault. Let's put... Dragon Kick! Chumbling Ball! 40 points, too. And did Adol get something, too? Or was that in a fight that we lost at first? Yes, I think we unlocked, like, Sky something for Adol, but that was in that fight that I, did, I took the L on, you know? Took the kill and reset, so... I don't see... I think it was, like, Sky something we unlocked for him, so I guess we'll get it later on. And I don't think we got anything for Frida. Poor Duran is still falling back on levels. But now Adol is, like, main character energy. He's level 47. That's perfectly fine with me. Yes, we're departing for Iris. I, I don't know where we could go. Like, there's no new stores to go get new gear at. So, And I've, we've gotten the top tier of gear. I don't know what I could go buy at this point anymore. So let's just enter. Oh, my God. Enter uh, the, the Nerve uh, call room where Gendo Ikari hangs out talking to those screens. Or I guess Zele is, I suppose, is more more appropriate. Hold on, my, my Evangelion terms are losing me, but you know. Uh, well, I guess um, the Akashic Records, the real life ones, are exactly the kind of esoterica that Evangelion would also randomly reference. So, I guess this is kind of on point. So this is the world of the Akashic Records. I guess this Iris place is full of all kinds of information about our world, huh? That must mean your embarrassing future is recorded here too, Darren. Hey, my future's gonna be awesome! You just wait! So all the knowledge Eldeal gives to people comes from these records? If so, that raises a question. If Lord Eldeal grants people knowledge, Surely that means contradictions will arise between the records and reality, no? Unless our faith is preordained, and the entry is about Lord Eldeal 
bringing the you know knowledge is mentioned here but that that means free will is a myth religion is a joke whatever i don't remember the entire quote it's <laughs> it's the thing that monsoon says in metal gear rising but yes free will is a myth then and i don't want to really entertain that thought the records are not infallible the world is merely guided by the events here unexpected events do occasionally occur oh well that's a more simple cop out then I have heard El Deal suggest that he gives knowledge to people in order to compensate such abnormalities. And while his actions do create further contradictions, El Deal corrects all of these himself using the Mask of the Sun. That is, as he sees it, his heavenly duty. So he corrects abnormalities in the fabric of existence? Isn't that a lot of work and a huge responsibility? This is the course of human history. You can change one thing and it'll change another. How can one guy just deal with that? Yeah, some butterfly effect stuff going on right here. Sound of thunder and all that. That is a completely accurate assessment. Yet there's no other who can perform such work. He has never once complained. I have to admit, that sounds like him. But if the Mask of the Sun allows its wearer to correct the records... Yeah. We're in real trouble if we don't stop Gruda. On the highest level of Iris is the central area, where the device used to manipulate the records is located. It is safe to assume that Gruda will be moving toward that location. How do we get there? I can't see any stairs or anything. And there's nothing above us. The highest level of Iris is a vast distance above us. Even with stairs, it would be a lengthy and exhausting climb. The owner of the Mask of the Sun can warp directly. Then we've already lost, cause guess who has the freaking mask? But others must silence the three guardians in order to ascend to the highest level. Oh, what now? Guardians? Ahead of us are three doors. Yeah. Also very Kingdom hearts -y, a little bit of this, I just now realized, these weird doorways here. Kind of the same vibe of that too. <laughs> Each leads to a different area. Bronze, silver, and gold. Within each area sits a guardian. When all three guardians have been defeated, the path to the center will open. Pretty tough security. Do we need to defeat the Guardians in a specific order? No, any order will do. However, we must reach Gruda before he finishes analyzing how to operate the device in the central area. Okay, so that's our one saving grace here, I guess. Is he still, he's still got time to figure out how the doohickey works. Very good. I feel like we've been saying this way too much, but... I guess there's no time to waste then. Let's go, Adol. Ominous. Okay, but, okay, well, looks like we have a clear clear delineation here of what we still have to do, I. By the way, what's the world map look like? Oh, it's just like a little thingy here, I guess. Alright. We got, you know, this, this level appears to be, you know, three tasks here. Now, let's see. Is it straight to the Guardian? Is that how this works? So three mini-bosses and then Garuda, or...? 